are leaving tonight instead of tomorrow morning. You guys, I finally got my Shein order literally like just in the nick of time because I leave in three days. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot make this up. I just got home and it's like just my luck. But I have a freaking screw, like not even a nail, a whole screw in my tire. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are going to be officially prepping for the Eras Tour. I am so excited. I have a lot to do today. Well, mm, kind of not really. Well, actually, yes I do. I got my lip balm on and if you guys have not tried this one from Target, it's the Natrium Photo Glow Lip Balm in Lychee, I think the color is. It is super pretty and I love it. I saw someone on TikTok saying that this is comparable to the Summer Fridays one. I've never tried that one, so I don't know, but I do like this one. So it's at Target. I'll have it linked down below. Today, we're going to be prepping. I need to go get my nails done. That's first thing on the agenda because they are looking crusty dust. I got to get my um, nails and my toes done. I think I'm going to go to either Target or TJ Maxx to get some travel essentials. If you did not know, I do live in San Antonio, Texas, and the concert that we're going to be seeing is the one in Arlington. So it's about... a uh, four hour drive or so yeah, i'm packing a day early which is good because normally i'm very very last minute and very behind but i had to do it today had no choice but i'm running late to my nail appointment so let's go do that and i'll show you guys what i get done i think i'm gonna go super simple i really wanted to do like a taylor swift like fun set but i think i'm just gonna do dip guys like my nails have been through it and i've been getting design after design after design after design and i just need like just like a natural nail moment so let's go do that this is how they came out. I just got white and I did a round and I just did a dip on my natural nails. And I don't hate them, but I don't love them because they're just really, really short. They almost look a little like short and stubby. And my nail beds are not this like, I guess, like wide. But I guess with the dip, it just made it look bigger. So I don't hate them, but I don't love them. Obviously, I'm just trying to like do like more of a natural nail because my nails were like really, really bad. Um, and they're really short because I had acrylics on for so long. And I know dip is like probably just as bad, but I heard dip is a little bit better. So I did dip and I just did white and I got my toes in and did shellac on my toes because shellac is the best on your toes. It'll literally last you like a month. Like you won't need to go get your toes in again for a while because it's like that good. It does not come off. So I did that. I also went and got a kid's meal at Whataburger. I just got the chicken strips. I literally, it was like, when did I eat last? I just had like toast bread this morning. Okay, and this is a side note, funny. Ever since I was like little, I've always called toast, toast bread. Don't ask me why. I think Matthew, like when we first started dating, he was like, oh, like, or I said, I'm gonna make you some toast bread. He's like, what? I just call it toast bread. He's like, it's toast. And I was like, no, it's toast bread. He's like, no, it's toast. And I'm like, sir, it is toast bread so it's wrong i know it is now but i call it toast bread so i had toast bread this morning for breakfast like i just i don't know why guys my stomach has been like hurting for the past like two days and stomach issues are very like normal with me but it hasn't been like this uncomfortable i think i'm honestly kind of like nervous for the concert which just sounds so dumb like i'm just like feeling a little anxious i guess because of the drive and the weather like it's not raining right now. It was kind of drizzling when I was in the nail salon, but it's just a little gloomy. And it's supposed to rain Friday when we're driving over there. It's not supposed to rain Saturday, which is good. And then it's going to rain Sunday, so the day we're going to come back. So I'm like, ah! But anyways, at this point, I'm rambling. But yeah, I got my nails done. I got a little kid's meal. I don't even think I mentioned that. I got just a kid's meal from Whataburger because I'm not that hungry. That's what, that's what I was getting at. That was the whole point of that. So sorry. Anyways, I have like a squirrel brain sometimes, guys. Like if I... Hmm, don't ask me why but i am at marshall's i was gonna go to the tj maxx if you guys saw my last vlog i was talking about the tj maxx that's like in live oak if you're familiar with san antonio but the traffic was so bad so i came to the one closer to like the 281 and 1604 this marshall's is okay i like the tj maxx over there better but there was less traffic over here and it's six o'clock and i still have to go home and pack you guys i started this vlog off very very late and so yeah but anyways let's go inside These are so cute. They have so many cute Crocs. Look guys, they have like these really cute Croc charms here. But none of them fit me. Oh, these are so cute. Um, Bejeweled, hello. We really have like nothing in the travel section. Like it's so empty. Oh my God, this is so cute. I did not need another mug. That's a stir thing though. 
Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't I'm gonna resist and I might regret it. Okay, they have more stuff over here. Glad I checked over here. Ooh, this one's kind of cute. I'm also gonna pop into Ulta. Need this. They also have, I have the watermelon body wash and I love it. I'm gonna get the shop right next, but I think I'm good. And then all the new scrubs. Ooh, what's this? Bath soak. Oh my god, this sponge up. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. This is so cute. And then look at the camera one. So cute. And the stitch one, these are super cute, but I love the SpongeBob one. So Ulta has travel stuff too, but why is this $27? I was about to return the other stuff I got. But this is $27. We are leaving Ulta. I got a few things I'll show you guys in the car. They must have asked me like so many times if I needed help with anything. Oh my god, look how this car worked. Why are people like this? I, I, I really truly don't understand. I'm back in the car. I ended up going to Ulta and I want to show you guys what I got. The first thing is this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Fragrance Shimmer Mist. I've like been seriously influenced by TikTok to get this, so I got it. It's basically just like a shimmer body spray. All this shimmer, and it's going to be so good for the concert because I'm going to just like spray my whole body in this. I also got a eyebrow pencil. I went ahead and tried the e.l.f. one. I've never had this one before, but I have normally been using the um, Benefit one, but I feel like it just goes on like too much, and I wanted something like a little bit thinner, and I think I've used this one in the past, and it's like really, really, really thin, like like the tip is thin, so I'm going to just use this one. This is also $3, I think. I think it's $3, because the um, Benefit one is like $23. Oh, it was $6. I'm lying. That's still better than like $25 for the benefit one. And then the last thing I got is the OC Ocean Cleanser. You guys, they actually sent me a PR package last year and I have been so obsessed with this face cleanser. It works so good. I just finished my other one and oh my gosh, just look at the bottle. She's gorgeous, I know. But um, yeah, I went ahead and got this because I needed to repurchase it. And you guys, this one's a little bit pricey. I'm not even gonna lie. It was $48. I went ahead and got that one. I don't know if you guys heard it in the clip, but um, they had a little travel set with the silicone bottles. It was almost $30 for that set. And I got these at Marshall's for four bucks. So I got um, a little two pack. It has like a little like orange one, like a light pink. Super cute. So I got this one and I got two because I wanted one for shampoo, conditioner, and like face wash. I'll put some in my Osea one in here. And you guys, these were $4. I wish it had a little case with it, but it'll do. And then I also got um, this shower cap. Look, it has like little um, green checkered print and then the cute little like daisies on there. So I got this and I have been wanting a shower cap, but I just wanted like a cute one and I found a cute one. So that is good. But I think I pretty much have everything that I need for our road trip. I was going to go to Target, but I am like shocked to be saying this, but I don't think I need anything from Target, which is wild to me. Like, I'm sure I, I, I could buy stuff, but I don't need anything. I think I pretty much have everything that I need. I think the only thing I really truly need that's left is like a little like holder for my toothbrush. But I want to go to HP right now because I want to get... Um, a couple things for dinner i'm not even really hungry but i saw a recipe when i was scrolling tiktok when i was getting my nails done and it was for like pork chop rancheras and it looks so good i've never made it before but i have ranchera salsa at home because i made huevos rancheros monday before matthew went to work because i wanted him to have like a really good like big breakfast for like his first day back at work so i have ranchera salsa and i was like even thinking to myself i was like what do, what do i make with it like so i'm thinking just cook up some pork chops and then like cook it like let the sauce get all hot and then put him in the sauce and let it get like all nice and warm and yummy but then i was thinking what do i make with it because i don't really want to make rice and matthew like he likes rice but it's not like his favorite like i personally i love rice like, i love rice but I don't think he'll eat it. So I was thinking like rice and corn or something. I I don't know, or like rice and green beans. So does green beans go with that? 
I feel like it needs a veggie in there. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to go to H-E-B and get some pork chops and maybe like some green beans or something. Yeah, that kind of sounds good, right? Green beans with pork chops and rice, right? It's honestly, I'm not even hungry, you guys. I really am truly not even hungry. I just had that Whataburger. Um, but I want him to have something hot like to have for lunch tomorrow because I didn't cook him anything today because I ate leftovers last night. So if I don't cook dinner the night before, then he won't get like a hot lunch. He'll just get like sandwiches and I know he's already tired of sandwiches so I want to cook him something and he doesn't ask me to do this I want to do it just you know just putting it out there because some people will be saying all these crazy things but I just want him to have like a hot meal because I'm gonna be like gone for three days and it's funny the way our schedule worked out he's actually taking off the weekend so that he can stay and watch the dogs because it was just cheaper to have him like trade his days off so that we wouldn't have to board the dogs. Obviously, if him and I were going to go like on a trip together, we'd board the dogs. But since it's just one of us, it doesn't really like make quite sense because he can watch the dogs and like be with them at home. So he'll actually have his days off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I will be in Arlington. So yeah, so I'm going to miss him. And I want him to have like one hot meal from me, even though it's like a day old meal kind of. Not really. It's not even like really a full day old. It's like from I cooked it prior, but. Anywho, I, I'm kind of tired, you guys. It's 7 o'clock, and I said I was going to pack today. And I also got my Shein order. You guys, I finally got my Shein order, literally like just in the nick of time, because I leave in three days, and I want to unbox it and, like, show you guys um, the things that I had ordered for the concert. I, I don't even know if it's going to fit me. I'm supposed to pack tonight still, so you know what? Should I make dinner? Fudge. I'm, like, I, like, literally not going to have time. You know what? My mat needs a hot meal, so we're gonna go to HB regardless. Let's go. Many hours later. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot make this up. I just got home and this is like just my luck. But I have a freaking screw, like not even a nail, a whole screw in my tire. I heard something flapping because I had my windows down because it feels so good. Well, now it feels humid. I don't know what happened to the weather. But I heard something like flapping or something. I thought it was like my seatbelt that got caught on my door. or I don't know what I thought it was or like my shirt or something. I have no idea. And when I got home, I went to like go check it out and I like moved the like car a lot. I got my phone light because it's like dark outside and sure enough, there's a screw in my tire. Like the worst part is, is I literally just got my two back tires on my car replaced like three weeks ago or like two weeks ago. So I go back again tomorrow and <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know. So yeah, that happened and I'm making dinner right now. Let me show y'all. I'm just letting it like kind of cool because it is pretty much done. But I got these boneless pork chops and I put that ranchera salsa all on top and it looks delicious. I also cheated and I got some rice and beans because I was not about to make some tonight. It's already, guys, I was outside forever. It's like almost nine o'clock. I was outside trying to figure out this dang tire. So yeah, I'm going to eat a super late dinner. Oh my gosh, I forgot the green beans. I ate chibi. I was going to buy green beans because I wanted a veggie that's okay i deserve this i deserve this <laughs> i had to show you guys the plated meal i took a bite so that's why it looks like not as pretty presentation wise but it is so good all i did on the pork chops was use like uncle chris's seasoning and of course i didn't make the rice and beans but i put some queso fresco for like you know to make it look homemade i guess the rice is okay it's a little salty for me but it's still good but pork chops delicious if you guys want my ranchera salsa recipe it's linked in my instagram highlights under recipes it's super easy to make but yeah 10 out of 10 dinner this is delicious many hours later hello you guys it is a lot later these the past 24 hours have been quite interesting i'll say that but i'm at my friend's house the friend i'm gonna go with y'all will meet her later but yeah it's been pretty interesting we have the artists going we're decorating the car i know i'll show you guys um i don't know if you can kind of see well i'll let it be the final reveal it's looking so good. It is. Arlington, here we go! Look at this. So cute if you guys want to send us anything. Darling, Texas, cash up. <laughs> Love it. Oh my gosh, I like don't even know where to begin. 
first of all, it is currently 12.05 um, Friday night. And we are leaving tonight instead of tomorrow morning. I... <laughs> all I can say is we really want merch and we want to have the best time. So we heavily changed our plans <laughs> around that. So it's going to be interesting. I We are definitely going to pull an all-nighter. We're basically going to leave. My friend should be on her way like literally any minute now and we're gonna drive from san antonio to arlington which is about a four hour drive so if we leave within the hour we should arrive to arlington at about five in the morning and we're going to camp out not really camp out like just sit and wait for our merch and then hopefully by the time that all that's over we'll go have lunch check into our hotel which is check-ins at three and then sleep and then maybe go to dinner. And then the next day we're going to have a slow day. Probably go get breakfast. And get ready for the concert. So I'm pumped. Let's do this. I don't know how I'm going to feel like once we're in the car driving. But I, I, I want to go. Like let's go. Let's go. I'm ready for Taylor. I'm ready. Let's do this. We're going to pull an all nighter. And it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah. But anyways guys. I was going to show you guys me like packing. And I definitely like pack like I have been like a mad woman just packing away I didn't even try my sheen stuff I just packed it in with hopes that my concert stuff fits so we shall see but to be honest it was just a little crazy so that did not end up happening but that's okay so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here I'm gonna start a new one right now so get ready I'm gonna film our trip everything like that and then like merch camping out all the good stuff so come back for the next video if you guys want to see my whole taylor swift eras tour experience thank you guys for watching this super chaotic video oh my gosh i didn't even tell you guys i got my tire situated thank the lord and like i feel like i'm missing so much like we decorated my car it looks freaking fantastic but yeah a lot is happening and it's just like all mumble jumbled in my brain so i feel like i'm not even making sense sorry this vlog is very chaotic but i will see you guys in the next one Bye.